Good day, everyone, I am Lou from Chris and Byron. Thank you for the opportunity to showcase our innovation. And we are humbly to contribute to Sustainable Development Goal 2, Zero Hunger. There is always a challenge to strengthening capacity for adaptation to climate change, extreme weather, flooding and other disasters affecting the crop produced and harvest rate. Modern agriculture is for the preparation and solving the future issues in the food supply chain. With these in mind, we humbly present our innovative ideas of today, the controlled indoor mushroom cultivation system. First of all, oyster mushrooms as our main object of study. The table is a summary of mushrooms compared to other vegetables, from pricing, harvest period, market demand and so on. Oyster mushroom is a very stable food source with growing demands. As for the global demand as well as Malaysia's demand, the current production is not sufficient. This picture is the basic life cycle of mushrooms. As conventional agriculture practice of oyster mushroom growth, farmers will prepare the wood dust in a plastic bag, with added the mushroom spore and mycelium. Then the mushroom packs will transfer to shaded outdoors for cultivation. When the growth factors are met, the mushroom will start growing and harvested when mature. The process is quite passive and harvest yields is highly rely on weather condition. A proactive practice has been popped out that Chris put these mushroom packs into a controlled cultivation area. In which, Chris are intimating the growth factors such as temperature, airflow, and humidity to offer a better environment to grow mushrooms. With this basic understanding of mushroom cultivation and based on experiences in manufacturing plant processing, Chris has developed a controlled indoor mushroom cultivation system based on three fundamental steps, which are to sense, understand, and react. As shown in the diagram, the indoor cultivation room is separated into nine rooms with about 2,000 mushroom packs per room. Whilst conventional cultivation areas is open air and with 20,000 mushroom packs within. These are designed to grant more control and monitoring. On the other hand, these allow the isolation of infected mushroom packs and break the chain of spreading, thus reducing the risk and loss due to infection and diseases. In addition, smart agriculture is added to the system whereby the growth factors such as temperature, humidity and carbon dioxide data are collected by using sensors. Data will be transferred to the computing units to analyze and react accordingly based on the above factors. The whole process is completed automatically. Besides that, to increase humidity, an in-house built humidifier using an ultrasonic atomizer is in use. Which, the water further breaks into a small particle which is about 5 microns in size to accelerate the growth of the mushroom. In addition, ventilation for air exchange and temperature exchange can be controlled by introducing a fan for the inlet and outlet accordingly. No chemical nor hormones is in used. Moving indoors no doubt provide more consistency to monitoring and is capable of controlling the environment. However, moving indoors also means getting rid of natural sunlight and natural sterilization by UV is barely possible. This increases the risk of bacteria or fungus infection as the dark, highly humid environment is not only suitable for mushroom cultivation, but also for microbes such as bacteria and fungus. Chris Hypochlorous Acid Technology has also extended its roles to these biological diseases, in which a food-grade chlorine-based disinfectant effectively inactive bacteria, fungus, and viruses. Lastly is the human factor to react accordingly. Flow and procedures have been implemented based on different stages of the mushroom life cycle. Ultimately, the mushroom gets what it needs to grow. By offering the optimal environment to mushrooms, eventually, the mushroom will return the optimal results. In a case study conducted, a mushroom farm in Johor produces 5 tons of mushrooms on 8 acres of land. In comparison, the Chris controlled indoor mushroom cultivation system only needs a shop lot size of about 1,800 square feet to have a 6 tons harvest. The application of the Chris controlled indoor mushroom cultivation system is a sustainable and smart concept and has several advantages over traditional cultivation systems, including promising higher yield, reduced risk of infection, less dependence on weather, and so on. Thank you for your attention. This is all about our innovation, Chris Controlled Indoor Mushroom Cultivation System. These bring Chris closer to achieving the sustainable development goal. Let's build a better world together. Thank you.